In this video, we're going to look at solving simple percent word problems. In any basic problem, you're going to find three pieces. One is the percent, which obviously has the percent units on it, and one is the part and one is the total, or what you can refer to as the base. Normally, because a percent is usually less than 100%, usually the part is the smaller value when compared to the total. We're going to look at two ways of solving these questions. The first one is the ratio method. The ratio method compares the percent fraction on the left, whatever it is over the 100, to the actual numbers on the right where you have the part divided by the total or the base. And when you're looking at these questions, the part is usually preceded by the word is, and the total or the base is usually preceded by the word of. And you can see that in the example above. 20% of 450, which was the base, is 90. The other way we can look at it is a formula method, which is the percent times the total is equal to the part. And you have to be a little bit careful with this formula because the percent must be entered as a decimal and not as the full whole number. Let's get a little more into the details of how we solve these problems. So let's look at some examples. If you had something that said 20% is what of 50, we have to isolate which is the part we don't know. 20%, so the percent is given, is what of 50? So of 50, that number is given, so the base is given. So the what comes after the is, which means it's the part we're looking for. Let's look at another example. What percent is 10 of 50? So where did the what go in the sentence? It was what percent, so that means we're looking for the percentage. In the last one, 10 is 20% of what? So the what came after the of, and so we're looking for the base in this case. So for these simple examples, if you pay attention to where the what is and what words go around it, you shouldn't have too much trouble figuring out what it is you're trying to find. And then you can use the ratio method or the formula method to calculate the answer. Let's look at some examples. 20% is what of 50? So the what is after the is, so we're looking for the part. So if we start with the ratio method, the percent is 20 over 100. And then we compare that to the part, which is x, our unknown, over 50, because that's our total base. So solving for the x, we're going to multiply both sides by 50. That will isolate for the x. And so then we need to compute 50 times 20 over 100. If you're doing this in a calculator, you don't need to do this prime factorization. Or if you're capable of multiplying 50 times 20, which actually gives you 1,000, and dividing that by 100, then you can get the answer either way. So canceling out these prime factors, we should all end up with the answer that x is equal to 10. Now using the formula method, our percentage was 20, so we start with 0.2 as our percent. So 0.2 times the base, which was given as 50, is equal to the part. So in that case, 0.2 times 50 is equal to 10. Next question is what percent of 10 is 50? So what percent? So that means we're looking for our percentage here. So if we do the ratio method, the x is the percentage. So x over 100 is equal to 10 out of 50. And solving for the x, we need to multiply both sides by 100. They cancel out on the left. And then you need to evaluate 10 times 100, which is 1,000 divided by 50. Now, if that's too complicated for you to do in your head, you can either do a prime factorization, like the one pictured, or you can use your calculator. Once you have the prime factorization, you cancel out all of the factors that are in common. And so we're left with 5 times 2, which is 10, times 2 again, which is 20. Looking at the formula method, the percent times the base is equal to the part. So we, the percent is unknown here. So the percent times 50 is equal to 10. So we're going to divide both sides by 50. And so our percent is equal to 10 over 50 which is 1 over 5, or in this case, 0.2. 10 is 20% of what? So the of what means that we're looking for the base here. So when we do our ratio method, 20 over 10, which is the percentage, is equal to 10 out of the unknown. So our x is in the denominator here. So remember from last module, we're going to multiply both sides by x. So they cancel out on the right and then we get the x in the numerator on the left. So now 20x over 100 is equal to 10. And so now we're going to multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of a fraction. So if our multiplication is by 20 over 100, 
we multiply by 100 over 20 to get rid of it on the left hand side. Then on the right hand side we simplify 10 times 100 which is 1000 divided by 20 which gives us 50. Using the formula method we're going to convert the percentage to the decimal so 20 over 100 gives us 0.2 and we're looking for the base so 0.2 times some base is equal to 10. So solving for the base we're going to take the 0.2 and divide by it on both sides and so the base is equal to 10 divided by 0.2 which is actually the same as multiplying by 5 and that gives us 50.